Hi ma'am, my name is Telegram Analaki Silveram. My matrix card ID is 49 20 Today, me and my teammate, which is Iswaran Analaki Vigneswaran, matrix card ID is 49 20 will be presenting about our presentation for the subject Engineering Society entitled Highland Tower Collapse. So, without any further ado, let's jump into it. So, this is the brief introduction about ourselves, which is me, myself, Telegram, and also my teammate, Iswaran. So, now for the introduction of the Highland Tower Collapse. Highland Tower tragedy is one of the most catastrophic tragedies that happened to occur in Malaysia. A small brief history about the Highland Towers. The Highland Towers, as is generally known, consists of three blocks of 12 stories. There are three blocks which is block 1, 2 and 3 respectively. Block 1 was the southernmost building, block 2 was built north, northwest of block 1 and block 3 was built west of block 2. It was built between 1975 and 1978. It was middle income owner who lived there. After three blocks, the geographical area was pretty steep. If you are allowed to follow the flow of nature, there is a stream that flows for the west. The charm of this place is natural environment overlooking the city of Kuala Lumpur. The Highland Towers is located at Tamai Hill View, Uluklang, Selangor, Malaysia. Even though the place was attractive and eye-catching for the tourists during its prime area, the Highland Tower undergo a severe tragedy which is collapsed and caused 48 deaths. This incident occurred during non-stop rainfall for 10 days and caused landslide which led into collapse. The block 1 collapsed at very first and 48 deaths were recorded in the collapse. Then the residents at block 2 and 3 were evacuated for safety measures by Majlis Pemandaran Ampang Jaya which is known as MPAJ. Now, the driving factor for the collapse of Highland Tower was the lodging of tree, the locking of trees on the hills and the plants that cover the land has made the soil vulnerable to land erosion. Soil erosion and landslides eventually destabilized the foundation of Block 1. Second, the plumbing was not strong enough to handle additional water, mineral debris, sand and silt from both stream and their side. The pipe broke down in several places, allowing Block 1 to observe excess water. Third, building a dwelling on a hillside is also prohibited by the Land Protection Act of 1960 the law, the law prohibits construction on steeper slopes, which is 18 degrees for environmental causes. Engineering management in society is pretty vital. There are five perspectives we have to take count into when it comes to the engineering management in society. First is future planning. Engage in future planning with appropriate consideration for technology and its relationship to cost effectiveness. Second. Financial. Understand both the technology that is driving the business today and the technology that will change the brightness of the future. Third, trust. Treat research and development as an investment to be nurtured rather than an expense to be minimized. Fourth, personal attributes. Engineering background increases the manager's capability with subordinates, customers, and also superiors. People attribute skills abilities, qualities, and knowledge to them. And finally, communication. Engineering background help in technical communication too. Now, we are going to classify the bylaws, which is legal and regulatory obligation. First of all, the Occupational Safety and Health Act 1994, which is known as OSHA. The legislative structure of occupational safety and health in Malaysia is governed by the constitution. The main legislation by the Occupational Safety and Health Act 1994, which is known as OSHA 1994, the Factories and Machinery Act 1967, and the Petroleum Safety Measures Act 1984. This article focuses on legislation in relation to safety and health at work and initiatives taken by the government to reduce the occupational accident in Malaysia. The OSHA 1994 was made in consideration of the fact for that the FMA 1967, which provides control of the factories. 
This only covers sectors such as manufacturing, mining, quarrying and construction. The workers that are covered by the FMA 1967 only consists of 24% of the nation's total manpower while OSHA covers 90% of the nation's total manpower. Next, Employee Social Security Act 1969. Another important piece of legislation which protects employees during their course of employment in the Employee Social Security Act 1969. It provides the social security for employment injury confinjuries in the favor of employee. Under the act, the employees have the right to claim certain benefits such as medical benefit, disablement benefit, constant attendance allowance, dependent benefit, funeral benefit, survival pension, and invalidity pension. The Social Security Organization, which is known as SOXO, was established as one of the government departments under the Ministry of Human Resources to administer implement and enforce the Employee Social Security Act 1969 and Employee Social Security General Regulation 1971. The Employment Injury Scheme under the SOXO provides protection to employees against occupational injuries including op occupational disease, committed, uh, com committing accidents. Next, OSH Master Plan 2020. This OSH, uh, OSH Master Plan 2020 outlines the numerous strategic core values to develop a healthy and safe work culture and to raise this country's well-being index, which is MyWI. And finally, Vision Zero. Vision Zero is a strategy to eliminate all traffic fatalities and severe injuries while increasing safe, healthy, equitable mobility for all. Now, we're going to look into the Code of Ethics. To understand the misconduct of the building professional, ethical theory may be applied to help us solve the ethical problems. Ethical theory is a comprehensive perspective on morality that clarifies, organizes, and guides moral reflection. There are several ethical theories which reflect to the Highland Tower case. So, the first ethical code that we are going to review is utilitarianism. So, there are two types of utilitarianism, which is act of utilitarianism and also rule of utilitarianism. So, first of all, what is a utilitarianism? This theory considers the cost-benefit analysis in engineering and it identifies the good and bad sequences of some action or policy in a monetary aspect. In this case, utilitarianism is one of the ethical theories that apply to all defendants liable in causing the tragedy. There are two versions of utilitarianism, which are act utilitarianism, as I mentioned before, and also rule utilitarianism, as I mentioned before, too. Next, duty ethics. These duties that should be performed, the duty to treat others fairly, or the duty not to injure others. Duty ethics are those actions that could be written down on the list of duty, be honest, don't cause any suffering to other people, be fair to others. The construction of the Highland Tower at Hillside area against the Land Con Conservation Act 1974, the act prohibits the development to be carried out on the hillside with, with slope greater than 18 degrees. For reasons connected to the environment, it shows clearly that the development is not safe to be done and will harm the people. Next, which is the third ethical code, which is self-realization. In Malaysia, heavy rain sometimes will cause soil on the hillside become loose and slight. If there is a construction at the slope, the first thing that the contractor needs to do is protecting the slope temporarily as well as permanently. If the site investigation studies have shown the slope is weak, the engineer needs to take lead to design the necessary slope stabilization such as soil nailing. And finally, which is Code of Ethics, which is Code of Professional Conduct, which is BEM. This code of ethics mentions that a registered engineer shall at all times hold the paramount of the safety, health, and welfare of the public. So now I'm going to pass this presentation to Ishwaran to continue it. That's all from me, ma'am. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ishwaran, son of Vikna Swaran. My matrix number is 14 dam 20 f 1021 So now I'll be explaining about the sustainability and green engineering. So there are three spheres of sustainability which is showing environmental economy. The point is energy efficiency, incentive for use of natural resources. Next is uh, 
environmental aspects natural resource use environmental protections next is a social environmental which is showing environmental justice and natural resources stewardships next is a social aspects which is showing a culture identity social inclusions and civil rights the last one is economic aspects which is showing wealth uh, creation property and employment so the amounts of the sustainability development concept as a response of the mining of natural resources for the benefit multinational corporation has advanced the cost of long-term environmental management a sustainable development model sdm framework that is inclusive of the whole natural environment is presented to illustrate the integration of the sustainable development of the whole ecosystem the ecosystem approach is an inclusive framework that cover the natural environment relevant future and constraints these are dynamic dynamically interconnect and constitute the determination of resources development component of the sdm the second component of the sdm framework is the resources uh, development pattern which is the use of the land water and atmospheric resources all of the these patterns include practice that utilize the environmental resources to achieve a predefined outcome producing waste and byproduct that require disposal into the environment the water quality quality management practice represent the third component of the framework these practices are governed by standard limitations and available disposal means subject to quantity and quality permits this interconnection standard practice and permit shape the resulting environmental quality of the ecosystem under consideration a four component environmental indicators of the sdm framework provides a measure of the ecosystem productivity and status that may differ based on societal values and culture the four component of the sdm are interwoven into the outcome assessment process to form the management and feedback models the concept of sustainable de development is expressed in the management model as an objective function subject to desire the constraints imposing the required bounds for achieving ecosystem sustainability the development of the objective function and constraint requires monetary values for ecosystem function resources development activities and environmental costs the feedback model ensure policy and resources use change required for sustainability an interactive process will be required to define the optimal ecosystem development plan that satisfies sustainable outcome next is a malaysian green technology master plan they goes by the pollution towards environment is radically increasing that the malaysian government has step up their game which are plan entitled malaysian green technology master plan this plan has six subdivisions which are energy manufacturing transport building waste and water the following figures shows the development of the malaysian green technology master plans so now the point is for energy the elec electricity generation install capacity of renewable energy which is re in energy mix reductions of electricity industry efficiency on in power generations next is manufacturing reducing the carbon footprint of the largest electricity consumer which showing green energy utilizations green product and certifications green individual processes next is transport ponch approach the, to reduce the carbon emissions public transport model shares higher productions of eev vehicles cleaner fuels which petroleum diesel displaces by part of based that on biodiesel next is waste to improve waste management methods for better quality of life is waste treatment and disposals resources recovery next is water 
a closed water loop system in urban areas for more sustainable water management is Integrit River Basin Management, Water Treatment and Distribution Technology, Water Harvesting Technology, Water Utilization Technology, what Waste Water Treatment by 2030. So next is Building Government Building Emission Reduction Target to 550 to 1750. So next is the sustainability methods and implementation of integrate management concept of resources and related ecosystem. So the issue is retrogressive landslide in which begins from the bottom of the slope and regresses upward in a series of rotational slides. Simultaneously, a forward movement down a slope was affected and created such a supercharged load that block one which its pile foundation is not designed to accommodate the horizontal load collapse. So the innovations, the first point is developer engage qualified architect, engineer and construction team to do the preliminary investigation before starts the development. All information regarding sites need to be identified, inquired and discussed among themselves. Any additional measure additional design or stop the development if required. Architect and engineer need to be skilled and knowledgeable to conduct the studies and prepare a good report recommending the best solution to the developer. Local authorities should play their best role in order to stop the development under the Land Conservation Act that prohibits the development on the hillsides. So next issue is the high wall had a very low force which is 1.52 point the wall consists of block of stone which had plaster which no drainage blanket behind it it just rests directly on the ground without seat and in any foundation and not big nor heavy not to carry pressure acting on it so the innovations the calculation must be done according to engineering standard and talking all factors to consideration. As reputable contractor, they must already know that the design of the retaining was fault. Contractor need to raise the issue to consultant to questioning the design. So the next issue is the earth drain has lost its function due to the vegetation and some were blocked. Such blockage must have caused server overflow on the terrace slope. The innovation is after site inspection, engineers should consider all factors to protect the hill slope from collapse. If they need to redesign the drain, they must do it earlier. While the operator need to ensure all the drains are in good condition to cater the flows. Conclusion Highland Tower tragedy need to be taken deep lesson to all parties that involved in retaining the environment. It is not due to low utilization of science and technology, but the attitudes of people who really on extreme science and technology and forgot remembrance of the creator that we cannot against the natural law. We cannot simply harm the environment for own important. It also featuring a human failure in managing the development in harmony parallel with the environment. High rise building construction are supposed not to regulate the law regulations and also avoid human greedy of profit or only benefit certain parties. It actually reflects the appreciation of our environmental ethics very weak among the citizens of Malaysia and should be improved. All must play their roles so that this black tragedy will not reoccur. In addition, this phenomenon pictures our country to the outsider and of course will reflect bad impression to our nation. It will reduce the business interact from outsider that cause economic decrease and directly, directly reduce credibility for our country. So for the reference that we use for this case study 
1993 high level collapse learning building failures 6 february 1993 to 3 6 october 2020 the second reference is mpag 1994 report to the technical committee of investigation on the collapse of block 1 and stability of block 2 and 3 highland tower condominium ulu kelang selangor darul ehsan the third is afika 11 december 2018 which is 26 26 years on the day the thailand highland tower collapse project daily next is a highland tower collapse and ram construction uk says.com retrieve 16 august 2020 the next is a devastating Highland Tower Collapse 1993 Devastating Disaster Retrieved 6 October 2020 The last one is 1993 Highland Tower Collapse Malaysia Achieved from the original on 15 August 2020 Retrieved by 15 August 2020 So this is the reference we used to do the case study and for this presentation Thank you